everyone this is the first part of your painting class where you're going to paint a view out your window in the style of Brett Whiteley so this is just the first part of our painting we're actually just going to paint the background so I've got here a palette and I've got here some blue paint so it's the dark blue paint or the mid blue paint in your kit and I'm just putting down about as much as a five between a five and ten cent piece sort of size I'm going to add to that just a little bit of white just to make it a little bit lighter so you can see where I've put those two colors up on my palette I've got some water and I've got a brush so my brush is kind of a medium size brush and that's what I'm going to do my background in now here's my paper so I'm just going to coat this entire page with a mixture of these two colors so I'm just going to get a bit of water on my brush and I'm going to dip into the blue I'm going to take it over to this side of my palette here okay then I'm just going to dip into a bit of the white the white's a bit of slightly thicker texture and I'm going to mix that in with the blue because I still want my blue to have quite a bit of intensity but I don't want it to be really really dark because yes Brett Whiteley used a lot of blue in his interiors but not all of them he often used yellows and um, quite light colors and sometimes it's hard to paint a light color over a dark color so I've got this kind of lovely blue happening here it's like a mid blue so that's going to be my lovely background color now in order to do my background I'm going to dip in my water whoops a bit of a drop but that's okay and then I'm just going to start painting backwards and forwards like this and I'm not worrying too much if some of the areas are a little bit brighter than others or darker or lighter because it's okay to have a little bit of um, variation in your background because it's only your background layer and we know that paintings have many many layers so if we have some different blues that's just going to help the painting not hinder it okay just brushing it in, putting it on as smoothly as I can. I'm going to have to wait for this to completely dry before I start to draw up my scene from my photograph outside my window, which hopefully you would have already taken and chosen which one you want to do. Now I'm painting it vertically like a vertical rectangle but depending on the orientation of your photograph you could actually use it as a horizontal and I tend to take photographs as a vertical or like a portrait kind of frame but not everyone does often landscapes are horizontal Okay, I've got a big white smear in the middle there, which I'm just going to try and blend in a little bit. It's easy to blend when it's quite wet. Okay. And there you go. You should be able to see that finished piece of cardboard. I'm um, sorry, paper. And that's just going to dry now. And then when it's dry, I'm going to draw up my image. Bye now.